guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Kringle Candle Reserve line haul and review. Now, I will say two out of the four candles that I purchased are sold out right now. I am still going to review them because you never know. They might restock them again, especially because they've been really, really popular. If you're not familiar with the Kringle Reserve candles, they're very similar to the black Halloween candles that they created, where they're in these black jars, the white 100% soy wax that I just adore, and then these beautiful, beautiful labels, which we will talk about. But the Kringle Reserve line are a little bit more higher end. So when you think about essential oils and synthetic oils, the fragrance oils in general, there's different grades. So these are using the most high end essential oils and synthetic oils that you can possibly get in a fragrance. So they do have a little bit more of a higher price point. They are $31.50. I am a Kringle ambassador though. So if you use the code DrewYock15 or Kringle.com, it's like KringleCandle.com slash Drew15, you'll be able to get 15% off. These rarely go on sale. So it is nice to get that 15% off. And I wanted to get my opinions out there to share with you guys because we are launching so many new things this month. The Kringle Reserve just launched, the Kringle Spring in country candles and in, in the country candles and in the Kringle candles are launching tomorrow, Monday, the 27th. So definitely check those out. I do have my review on the spring candles, which I'll leave down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Sweet and Savory. Now take a look at this label, you guys. Now at first online, I thought this was like one of those crinkle chocolate cookies with the powdered sugar on it, but it's actually a loaf of crusty Italian bread. And I was like, ooh, this has my name on it. Now I do have my laptop here with the description and this scent reads, the addictive baked bread accord awakens the mouthwatering senses as it is blended with churned butter, praline woods, and sesame seeds. So we have top notes of homemade churned butter, creamy milk, mid notes of nutmeg, cinnamon, baked bread accord, and a base note of praline woods, sesame seed, and musk. Now, when you see the word accord in fragrance notes, essentially what an accord is, baked bread accord, gingerbread accord, chocolate cake accord, you can't extract an oil from a chocolate cake, or for this instance, baked bread. You can't extract an oil from there. So it's a blend of multiple oils to create the fragrance of a fresh baked bread, which I think is so brilliant, like a leather accord. So you can't actually like extract the scent from leather, but you can have a bunch of synthetics together to create the note of leather. It's your science fact for the day. So anyway, this is gonna be like a crusty, fresh baked bread. Now these have been sitting for almost a week now and I've been sniffing them on and off. This smells like something. It is food. I cannot figure out what it is. A lot of people are saying pumpernickel bread, and I can see that. It's not what I'm thinking. It's definitely like a very savory food. I don't get much sweet in the sweet and savory. Just a very crusty, rich bread, but no yeast. It's definitely like a brown bread. Sort of reminiscent about like the brown bread from the Cheesecake Factory, but not 100%. I still to this day cannot figure out what it is. I keep sniffing and that's something that's so brilliant about your sense of smell is you've smelled something, but you don't know what it is. It's your olfactive senses recognizing that, hey, I've smelled that before, but I can't figure out what it is, but I know it's familiar, which is just so fascinating about smell to me. But yeah, I can't figure it out either way. I love this. This is gonna be great in the kitchen. I think, honestly, when you have company over, burning like a fresh baked bread candle in your kitchen just makes your home smell really inviting and warm and comforting. And the kitchen is the number one gathering spot when you have a party. So you figure everybody's in the kitchen either grabbing something to drink or some snacks or, you know, catching up with friends and family. So if you're burning like a bread scent in the kitchen, people are naturally gonna be gravitating in there and they'll be like, Oh my God, 
It smells so good in here. Oh, it's sweet and savory. I'm actually burning a fresh baked bread candle. It's not actual bread. I think that is just something so fascinating about your sense of smell is you can really trick people into what it truly smells like. So that is sweet and savory. Mick put a teaser almost, it feels like two years ago. It might not have been that long on his Instagram of this candle. And I was like, I need to get my hands on it. And honestly, it feels surreal to be holding this in real life because I've been seeing this candle for so long that it actually came to fruition. Juicy strawberry. Look at that label. I mean, if that is not a juicy strawberry, I don't know what is. I'm obsessed. Now the notes on juicy strawberry read, Juicy garden strawberry is picked right off of the vine. Harmonized with some more green garden elements, such as parsley and basil, enveloped on the bottom with oak moss and earthy geranium notes. So top notes of lemon leaf, tomato vine, parsley, mid notes of juicy strawberries, sheer basil, violet leaf, base notes of oak moss, geranium, and musk. So it's not just a strawberry. This truly captures a strawberry. And let me tell you, you've smelled so many artificial strawberries in your life from strawberry chapstick and lip gloss to strawberry like body creams and shower gels to strawberry candles. There's so many artificial strawberries in the world. And I think they're trying to capture the essence of a strawberry where what Mick and Kringle are doing here is creating a fragrance story. So for example, We'll take a strawberry. Yeah, you buy a carton of strawberries at the grocery store and you open them up. That's a strawberry and you eat it. What is it? A strawberry. But it's a hot summer day. You're meeting a bunch of your friends. You're going to your local farm and you're going to pick the strawberries. So you have the dirt. You have the greens. You have the stems. You have everything surrounding the garden of the strawberry. So in this candle, you're truly capturing not only the essence of the strawberry, but the essence of everything surrounding the strawberry. So when you smell this, yes, there's strawberry, but there's so much more complexity to this fragrance and so much surrounding it. So the basil, the violet, the oak moss, you're really capturing everything in this candle. And it's sold out right now, but I'm telling you, if this gets restocked, you have to get some. I'm getting at least three more when it restocks because this truly captures the essence of a strawberry. Strawberries are easily one of my favorite fruits. I used to just, as a kid, slice strawberries and bananas, put them in a bowl and eat them just like that. I love strawberries. I love the bright redness, the seeds, everything to capture a strawberry. And this, not because I'm an ambassador. I'm telling you, it is the most authentic strawberry fragrance I have ever smelled. I've never smelled a strawberry fragrance from another candle company that captures the strawberry the way Mick does to this strawberry. It is incredible. I'm telling you. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, Siri doesn't understand either. See, Siri, the head of Apple, doesn't even understand how he captured this strawberry. I'm telling you, it's a genius. It is so, so good, you guys. Juicy strawberry, I'm telling you, if you want the most complex strawberry, juicy strawberry. Another candle that has unfortunately sold out is Jelly Donut. Take a look at this label. We have three perfectly stacked, delicious powdered jelly donuts. There's even some powdered sugar being sprinkled in the background there. My gourmand loving heart can't take much more than this. The pampering essence of gently fried pastry dough with sweet raspberry jam, juicy blackberry, creamy vanilla, and a hint of sugared citrus. So we have a pastry top note, raspberry and blackberry and citrus in the mid, and then butter and vanilla in the base. Awesome. It's a jelly donut. It's a raised jelly donut. And you know, when you go to like, again, you go to a grocery store and you get a jelly donut and you take a bite out of it 
and there's a hole on the one side where the jelly is being inserted into. So whenever you take a bite and you don't see that hole and it all squirts out, you're like, ugh, all that jelly is gone, right? All that deliciousness. So you make sure, and I'm quoting Bantam Bagels from QVC, those little bagel bites that now they sell at Starbucks. They always say, find the hole, bite the hole. And let me tell you, that is captured in this jelly donut. It is you're taking the bite of that jelly donut and all of that jelly is just filled in your mouth. That's sweet, you know it's loaded with sugar, artificial, sweet, delicious, raspberry, blackberry jam with the yeastiness of the dough and that powdered sugar. This is heaven. I love donuts. I love baked goods. I mean, I do work out six times a week, but I also love a good dessert. And a jelly donut, let me tell you, heaven. It is my favorite kind of donut. So when you tell me that Kringle, who is known for their authentic fragrances, is coming out with a jelly donut candle. I had to have it. It's it. I'm telling you, if you're into bakery, if you're into gourmand, and you love like a jelly donut fragrance, jelly donut right here has my whole loving heart. Jelly donut. I know it's sold out right now, but trust me, if it comes back, stock up. Last but certainly not least, we have ma Macaroons Macarons. Now listen, I saw all the controversy online. I will say, this spelling is the coconut macaroon. These are macarons, and I understand there's some controversy, so I do agree with everybody where the picture here are the French macarons, and the spelling is the American coconut macaroon. I rest my case. The scent reads, the mouthwatering appeal of freshly baked pastry macaroons layered with sweet highlights of vanilla sugar and soft touches of blushed fruits. So we have a top note of pastry, a fruit mid note with sweet strawberry and a base of vanilla and butter. Now, I will say, I like a macaroon. I'm the, I like a macaron. I don't love this candle. And the only reason why... It's just not super, super strong to me. The other three knocked me out of the park. I was expecting a little bit more. So when you think of like a French macaron, you think of those buttery, flaky cookies that are so airy that when you bite into them, the cookie itself really doesn't have a flavor, but the jam filling in the middle is so overly flavorful that when you bite into it, it's like the sweetest, sometimes sour depending on the flavor, in your mouth and it's like your mouth is coated in the floury almond cookie where the jam in the middle is a little bit more like super overly sweet that that is the flavor you're getting and i feel like this is just a very light sugared cookie i'm not getting all of those essences like i would like i close my eyes on all three of those and i can tell what it is i can't tell what this would be with my eyes closed. You win some, you lose some. You never know what it's gonna be like when you burn it. Let me know if you've tried this one. Again, I'm an ambassador, but I'm honest. It's not my favorite. There's definitely like Dalgana. I wish I would have ordered. Sinful, I didn't read the description, okay? It's chocolate and peanut butter. Hello, I'm literally like the king of peanut butter. All of my friends and family know that if there's a peanut butter dessert on a menu, I, listen. Who else goes to a restaurant and looks at the dessert menu first to determine what you're getting for dinner? I do. If I'm going into a restaurant and I see that their bomb ass dessert menu, I'm like, mm, I might just get an appetizer or a salad because I know I'm getting dessert, especially if it has peanut butter in it. And that sinful, I thought was just going to be a chocolate cupcake. No, it's a peanut butter chocolate set. Hello. I think I have to place an order this week for that peanut butter candle because I need to get the other six in the lime. There's Night Bloom, Dark as Night, Sinful, Triple Chocolate, um, oh my gosh, Dalgona, which is like a hazelnut coffee, and then there's one more that I cannot think of right now. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I rest my case. I think I need to place an order for those scents.
But yeah, I'm just not in love with this one. So again, you win some, you lose some. I was expecting a little bit more fruitiness with the macaroon. It is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Did you pick up any Kringle Reserve candles or did you place any orders with Kringle recently? Are you planning on purchasing tomorrow or if you're watching this today, today at 9 a.m. to get the new spring line? Let a boy know. As always, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye guys.